Hey Magic Community on YouTube, Two Ungly Listener Elf here. By the time this video goes up, as of a few days ago, Kaladesh Remastered was released. So there's a bunch to do in this video. We're gonna open some packs, we're gonna play some games, we're gonna build some decks, and just go from there. First things first, though. Uh, if you... Uh, it's either try Kaladesh or play Kaladesh. If you put in the code, let's do try Kaladesh, then you get three packs. Aha! So it's try. There you go. If you haven't already done that, you might as well. Go for it. Check it out. So let's open these, and we'll let the these packs determine... Is it just one? I thought it was three. Oh, no. Oh, well. Okay, well, what's this one? If I, if I really am going to hold myself to it, whatever this is, that's what I'm going to build around, right? No. No, I don't know if I want to do... You know what? Sure, let's go for it. YOLO. Dynavolt Tower. Nope, that's a terrible one to get right now, because that was my first pack, and I don't have any energy cards at all. Whatsoever. In fact, none of these are energy cards. <laughs> don't! Don't! Now, granted, we have, we have wild cards we can blow just to do that, but why did I do this to myself? <laughs> no, no, I thought I was getting three packs. Uh, the, the plan, oh, the video's ruined. The plan was open three packs, build from that, go from there. Oh, oh, you can also see this. I finally got some vault progress. For someone who doesn't play limited, that can take quite a while. If you do play limited, you open enough packs you can get there, but otherwise, uh, it, it takes a hot minute. Uh, so, yeah, oh, also, gem count. 3,870 happens to be greater than 3,400. So, if I go in, wait, I guess it's not here. It's, uh, oh, there was something weird in the store, though. I'm getting a little distracted, but what is this? I can spend zero gems. You just, cool, yay, <laughs> woo, <laughs> easy. All right, well, free. I guess, uh, but let's let's head over here. Go unlock mastery pass. I have not spent a penny on Magic Arena. I have not made any purchases in any free-to-play games except something like ten or eleven years ago, a Facebook game I was playing with my with my girlfriend at the time. That's it. That's it. So uh, just on principle, in part, I I don't like paying for free-to-play games. Part of it is that I enjoy seeing how far I can get without having the advantages given by paying. Uh, so, but that said, there's a daily deal that comes every now and then for gems. You can spend, I think it used to be 2,000, now it's 1,500, 1,500 for 500 gems. And if you do that enough, you can eventually afford a mastery pass. Also, you'll notice in here that you actually can get gems just from your mastery pass as long as you keep playing. Uh, so that can help you to just keep doing it season after season. However, this will be my first. So we're going to end up getting... Ooh, quite a bit. <laughs> Whee! We're going to have... What is this? Is that a draft token? Cool, we're going to get a, a draft token, I think that is. I'll finally be able to play limited on Arena. I haven't prioritized it. It's not something I usually... It's not that I don't like Limited, I just don't prefer it to Constructed, personally. I feel like I have more agency over Constructed, and more sense of expression. Uh, but that's just me. Also, I like brewing. You know. You can already tell, I did not make myself enough coffee. Alright, so, this is the same thing plus 10 levels. I think if I keep playing at least a little bit every day. The, the thing I've been doing, four wins and getting the 15 wins per week, I think that that'll be enough to get me all the way to the top, and past a certain point, every level you get just gives you another uncommon wild card. So it's not all that consequential there. So let's just do this. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right! We finally have a pet! We, we didn't actually have a pet prior to this. Apply now. Apply now. Let's do them in... Let's do you first. Cool! All right. 600, a player draft token, a sleeve. I'll probably stick with the regular sleeves, but that's pretty neat. Oh, and I think I got a Nahiri avatar, didn't I? Obey, cooperate, heart, Oh. Okay, nice. 
I can actually use uh, images instead of text. Swarm drives all of us. Cool. Inferno Spark. This dude. This is angry. This is, I think, the replacement for your go. <laughs> it's I'm asleep. It sounds a lot less passive aggressive. I don't know. I, I understand that the text is supposed to be different from language to language, uh, but your go sounds like. like. I'm trying to do the. like I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Bunch of packs. Throne, Theros, Ikoria. Shouts to Ikoria. That's my favorite set. And uh, Chord 2021. It's not my favorite set, but it's my favorite on Arena. And then, holy crap, a bunch of these. Okay, so these are just not uh, cosmetics, these are just the actual cards themselves. Already had you, already had you, already had you, already had you, although I have another, that's good. Uh, yeah, okay, oh yeah, they have first over them, that'll, that'll do it. Um, on the bottom of its owner's library, so it doesn't even hurt them for card advantage, right? Well, no, it's fine, because you, if you put it on top of their deck, then you know what their next draw is going to be. It kind of puts them back a turn. Putting it on the bottom does get rid of it for longer, though, so I guess there's that. Let's see. Yeah, this looks actually not that great, but we'll take it, I suppose. Uh, this this could have been a better collection. Like, some of these are pretty sick, except I already have them. And if you already have one, you already have as many as you need for Brawl, so that's okay, I guess. You can use Renata for standard, though, right? Doesn't she have a home in, like, Stompy or something as a curve topper? Forsaken Monument? Heck yeah! This is this is a thing now that Kaladesh came out. There's a, uh, there's more than one actually, like mud decks that came from Kaladesh, where Metalwork Colossus is your curve topper, and then you play stuff like Forsaken Monument uh, to make the mana for it. Just play. You have mana rocks. You have Mind Stone and Guardian Idol. Yeah, good times. Good times. And I saw someone on Twitter note that oh, Mirror Mage, nice. That you don't have. Let me make sure it was worded correctly. In Pioneer, you don't have any two mana mana rocks, so the deck doesn't work the way it, it does in Historic, where you have Mindstone and Guardian Idol. So yay, Lithoform Engine. Ooh, okay. This is sick. This is sweet. We can make this work. Oh, for sure. Ah, oh no. Oh no, Jay. Don't do it. Don't put this in your land destruction deck so you can copy land destruction. No. Granted, that'll that'll take a good bit of mana. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. We have even more, don't we? Oh, these are the actual cosmetics. Oh, Gaza! Speaking of land destruction, I guess I'm giving this away. But if you play me in in Brawl, Rukulin, uh, <laughs> expect this to come up. <laughs> Royal Chaser, yay! Good times. I just gave my game away. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay. And then the rest of these look okay. Uh, I like the Nahiri's Binding, especially. That's my favorite of the... No, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hi, Linvala. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, that's the one that's minus two, minus oh. Still, I guess it's playable. It makes a land of nothing else. Shelter. Cool. Even more. And ten, ten orbs. Uh, call me Ambush. All right. Ah, the, the Rogue Curve Topper. Very good. Yeah, I mean, this looks okay. I can live with this. All of that. Yay! And we still have one that Oh, because we, we gained a bunch. Uh, so let's see how many more I'll get by the end of the season, if I play through to level 130. So two... or actually, just count instances. One... That's it. No, no, wait, wait. Two, three. All right, so we'll gain 600 at the end. Mastery Tree. Um, well, first of all, let's finish off the blue one. Because that's Seagate Restoration. That's easy. That's an easy one. As for the rest of these, I'm not sure, like, flavorfully, if it should be green. But for the rest of these, I'm not sure. Look at. Well, of course. Inscription. I have a billion inscriptions. Yeah, green seems to have quite a few cards I actually use. I, I own. Oh, excuse me. I own and use every one of these except maybe Reclaim the Waste. I don't remember that one. Oh, excuse me. I already know I don't have enough coffee. There's <laughs> not enough coffee to get me by. I, I know what all the tops for these are going to be. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it, it covers the cleric. The 1-3 for 2 that gains you 2 life. 
Actually, white looks pretty good, too. Hmm. Malachir Rebirth. Let's see, what's the actual text for Malachir Rebirth again? I'd like to see that before we decide. I'm pretty sure that I have one. I'm pretty sure I own a copy in here somewhere. Yeah. Choose target creature, you lose two life. Until end of turn, that creature gains. When it dies, return the battlefield under its owner's control. That's right, this is the one I was considering for a deck in Modern. That, um... It's probably the worst one of them, but there's a deck that I had been running, uh... called... Um... Uh, call it Grixis Undying Elementals, where you play cards like Fulminator Mage, Shriek Maw, and Mold Drifter, and then they die, and you can get them back. Uh, with uh, Supernatural Stamina, Undying Evil, and now Malakir Rebirth, which is clearly the worst of them. Uh, it doesn't have any supplementary effects, and you lose life, but it also turns into a land if you need. Uh, but that, And that's also just a bunch of cards that have that effect. That would be, if I ran four of each, that's twelve, plus the Kolagon's commands, which don't, I mean, they'll get them back from the yard. They don't reanimate them, though. Oh, good times! Oh, good times! <laughs> It's the only Grixis deck that I've played. Well, it's not the only in existence, but the only one that I've played that has like a good matchup against Tron because you get to loop Fulminator Mages, and it also gets to run uh, Kolagon's Command, and what was the other thing it has in there? You can run Blood Moon. I used to do Singleton Blood Moon. Anyway, anyway, uh, which one, which one? I guess I need to be deciding how I want to brew first. As you can see, I only have one rare wild card, so I'm going to be limited in what I can make, unfortunately. However, however, Creeping Corrosion is a common. <laughs> it's the four mana, it's two green green, sorcery, destroy target, artifact, enchantment, or land! Yeah! <laughs> Do I really want to be that guy? Uh, however, however, I don't know that it's all that necessary. It would be the only green land destruction spell, uh, land destruction instant or sorcery at four mana or lower. That's in uh, that's on arena right now. Uh, in Pioneer, I do have a mono green land destruction deck, but that one also gets Reclaiming Vines and Worldbreaker, which I don't have on here. So I don't know how much that ends up helping me actually. Uh, that said, let me go. Let me actually go take a look at what all is available in the set. Now, I only opened one pack, unfortunately, and let's do a quick refresher for what that all happened to be. Kaladesh Remastered. It's just these. Let's see. The the Renegade is a good zoo creature. It's a one-two death touch that becomes a two-three uh, easily enough. Let's see. Although this is a format without fetch lands that come in untapped early in the game. So we don't have, say, like a Wooded Foothills or Windswept Teeth or anything like that. We have Fabled Passage and Evolving Wilds. So it's a little awkward with, with Renegade. You're not going to be able to get it out on turn one and turn on Revolt, unfortunately. But it's still a 1-2 Death Touch at worst. And that's on... For nowadays, that's on curve. A 1-1 one, one with Death Touch is below curve now uh, because of cards like this. So let's see. What else? Oh, no, wait a minute, I was wrong. This one actually does uh, give you energy. I missed that. How did I miss that? Uh, select for Inspection is weird. It's only tapped creatures. Essence Extraction is playable, but, I mean, come on. It's three mana for not... It only deals it to creatures. It can't uh, deal it to players as well. Live Fast is actually... How did I miss that this gives energy? I've... I missed it a bunch. Oh, good grief. Maybe I should do Dynavolt Tower. It gets rid of all the first on there. Uh, okay, so maybe I should do some Dynavolt Tower shenanigans. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Uh, being able to just snipe three damage to stuff uh, would be would be okay. And I actually used to try to run this in Standard back when it was around. Uh, which feels like forever ago. Alright, but let's go into Not Collected, actually. And then let's... It's going to show me white first. Now, back when this was a thing, I remember going for blue. Let's actually look at the curve toppers in blue. Okay, so they don't have the uh, the whale, the flying whale that cares about energy. It's something like uh, eight energy to return 
all nine. It, it bounced creatures, it, and you could, if you made enough energy, you could do that every turn. So you used little ones. Let's see, like Thriving Turtle to make the energy, because it bounced the Thriving Turtle to hand. So you play it back, you get some energy, and you could do this turn after turn. That was the idea, anyway. Um, was it a good deck? No. Actually, I tried to run that back when Smuggler's Copter was legal, and I realized I needed Smuggler's Copter. So I maybe if I had given it a try after that, maybe it could have been something, but in all likelihood, no. Uh, there are cards here I definitely would like to pick up, like Ceremonious Rejection, because there's so much mud running around, but that would be a sideboard card, and I mostly play best of one at, at this point. There's Brawl, uh, which would be a good... Uh, wasn't this thing banned in Brawl at one point? I'm pretty sure you were you were too good. Or was it Tiny Leaders or some format you were banned in? Uh, because... Uh, you play it early, you get to cast your stuff early, and you don't let the opponent play. Ta-da! <laughs> really fun, really fun commander. Really, really fun. I don't see a, a note on it now, though, so we'll see how long that lasts. It would be another Goblin Electromancer to show up. Uh, that would that would be up my alley, I suppose. Actually, no, let's, let's uh, speaking of being up my alley, let's look for something up here. So we have Sahili, but we don't have Philidar Guardian. Um, hmm. Okay, I was trying to remember if there happened to be anything along the lines of like a Crackling Drake uh, that I might be able to use in here. And while Whirler Virtuoso was ridiculous and limited back when this was around, I don't know how, how much it is in Constructed. But yeah, if you're playing Kaladesh Limited, if you're playing Kaladesh Sealed, uh, put this thing in your deck. Find a way. Oh, we get fast lands! <gasps> we get fast lands! I, I knew that was gonna happen. Give it a sec. Yes, Murpha. Okay, okay, okay. I no no rare wild cards. I'm sorry, folks, who wanted to see me brew. No rare wild cards. I have to save them for botanical sanctums because I play Murfolk in historic, and this is exactly what it, this and the. Uh, two-sided land that would make blue and green, that hasn't come out yet, are exactly what I'm looking for. So, uh, but this one is better. So I might even, once that later one comes out, I might even eschew it, or some number anyway, uh, because Islands and Forest work for Hinterland Harbor. Then again, never mind, I'm getting ahead of myself. So yeah, we're, we're saving it for, for this. In fact, I might even just spend one now because it'll improve Merfolk uh, for the time being. So yeah, let, let's, let's do that. Let's go in, fix up Merfolk. You'll actually get a chance to see the way that I've built Merfolk right now. I I adjust it all the time. There's a few different builds for Merfolk. This one doesn't have any uh, counter magic, which is not necessarily ideal. Uh, it doesn't have. It has one copy of Tempest Caller. It has Icon of Ancestry, a Kapala, two Brazen Borrower. Four Benthic Biomancer, uh, you're going to run four speakers, but four Benthic Biomancers. Because the more lords you have, the better the small creatures get. The fewer lords you have, the less ideal they happen to be. Because typically, you don't want to come across one of these as your top deck. They're not terribly impactful. Uh, but when you pay one mana for a 3-3 three, three, or a 4-4, four, four, it becomes a little bit better. A little bit. Okay, I guess I do actually have two more rares I can use and another Mythic. Uh, so let's add that in right away and take out an island, just a regular old island. Sadly, island does not work for a Kumina speaker. Um, so seven islands, two forest, plus the four breeding pools will turn on the four hinterland harbors. These coming in tapped, that's really unfortunate. Um, but you do what you have to do, I suppose. Unfortunately, my taking these out is actually going to make hinterland harbor worse. But because you only need one of any of these to make it work, I think it's fine. Generally speaking, forest is actually probably the worst one, so maybe I put in an island and take out forest? Hmm. It... Oh. Yeah, actually, I might do that. That's really weird, though, because that doesn't make Kumina Speaker any more likely to come down. But it does help Trickster out a bit. This may not be right, but I'm trying it out. This is almost certainly not correct, isn't it? 
uh, once I get more botanical sanctums, I can take out islands. Uh, but yeah, forest is just here because sometimes we don't have breeding pool at, or unclaimed territory, and we need a turn one uh, Kumina speaker. Otherwise, it, because it doesn't work for Merfolk Trickster, you, you want island, period. Okay, so the rest of the deck. Silvio Adept and Merfolk Branchwalker for draw. Uh, Branchwalker and Biomancer are the next ones to get cut, potentially, of these, of the big ones. So, Mistbinder, Brazen Borrower as a two of, I think is correct. Uh, Kira and Kapala. Why am I running Kira and Kapala? Well, s separately, Kapala is absolutely worse than Kira. And that's probably because Kapala being a Merfolk, it was probably meant to balance, because, you know, after all, all the Merfolk synergies. Then again, nowadays there are a lot of spirit synergies, so not really a thing. But you know, you know, I can hit uh, Kapala with Icon of Ancestry, it buffs Kapala, all of my lords buff Kapala, uh, but Kira flies and Kira has a better protection effect. Put the two of these together though, and you have something serious going on. Alright, so my other lord, Mirror Regery, and one Icon of Ancestry. I think one is probably right. I could go for more, actually. Uh, and then one Tempest Caller, which can be found off Icon, but can't be hit off Collected Company. This is a concession to goblins. Sometimes they just build a big enough wall, and it's not just goblins, but that is a big one. They build a big enough wall, and you hit Tempest Caller, tap all their creatures down, and swing for lethal. This is, uh, against a lot of decks, this is an oops, I win button. Um, there are other cards that this could be, like another Icon, or uh, another... What's another Merfolk I would put in here? Um, I guess for consistency in other land, but in best of one, the shuffler doesn't usually mess you up. I have 22. I used to have a glass pool mimic, uh, a one of in the deck, and I could also put in counter magic too. But this one becomes another lord. But if you hit it off of collected company, it only counts the creatures that were there prior to it showing up. So glass pool mimic mirror regery. It can't become Mirror Regery unless you have another one on the field already. Uh, so that becomes a bit of a problem, but it does count as a land, too. So I've gone all over the place. Now, as for Counter Magic, uh, Negate is a big one. It's the big one, right? Whichever art you prefer. Uh, but then I've also been trying out... Oh! I guess I should have typed in a little bit more. I thought I had enough. Oh, I, I, oh, hmm? oh, yeah, Pfft. It, it. Wizard's Retort, what's up, <laughs> okay, wow, I'm, I forgot it's three mana, it feels like two mana, but it's three mana, so I didn't go far enough, yay, Wizard's Retort, often this is a, just a two mana counterspell, uh, this one is a wizard, this one's not. This one is a wizard, this one is a wizard, this one's not. This one's not. Do you see a pattern yet? Um, for the merfolk, generally speaking, if it's blue, it's a wizard. Exception being Regery. And Tempest Caller is a wizard. Uh, which kind of looks the part. But Ixalan was weird. I, I could have put it as like a scout or a shaman or some or a shaman. Uh, except, you know, it's blue, so it's a wizard. <laughs> Regery means soldier, right? So you can understand why this one isn't. Uh, but yeah, there's so many of them that are soldiers, or that are soldiers, that are wizards, that often this will just be regular counterspell. However, if you want to use this for two mana on turn two, Benthic Biomancer or Bust, that is actually it. You can't use anything else to get you there, unfortunately. Uh, and turn two is often the turn you'll need it. Now, Wizard's Retort counters any spell. Negate only tar counters non-creatures. Uh, if you had to pick one or the other, um, honestly, it probably ought to be uh, Wizard's Retort because it can counter uh, the Oops, I Win button from Goblins, which is Muxus. And I, I keep saying that as if they're the, the be-all, end-all, but that is a, that's, that's a tough matchup for many decks, and mine is no exception. Uh, now, on the other hand, Negate gives you counter magic against Wrath of God and Settle the Wreckage and Ritual of Sir and all of those, the, the cards you most often care about, and it can be cast off of Unclaimed Territory or Forest. Another reason why Forest is going down. Yeah, so 
There you have go. There you have it. There's the the deck tech. I wasn't expecting to do a Murpho deck tech here, but there there we go. I suppose. So really quickly, looking at the stats one more time before we head out, 22 lands, 33 creatures. One of them can't be hit off Collected Company, but so 32 creatures for Coco. Most of which, of course, are Merfolk. Now, back to... Yes, yeah, save. Back to building something silly. Okay, so I just kind of restricted myself, didn't I? I just made it where I don't have any more rares to spend, except for the rare I have to spend. I have two rares, and they're going to be a botanical sanctum, so no. Uh, so now what do I do? Now what do I build? Well, again, I kind of want to do Creeping Corrosion. I know that card is not going to see a whole lot of love. As for the commons and uncommons, it's tough to just go into just straight up energy, um, because it's going to take a lot of cards for me to do that, and right now I just simply don't have them. However. Go back to Common and Uncommon, Not Collected, Kaladesh Remastered, pick a color. As, as I recall, red has some decent removal in here. Now let's see if that actually ended up getting printed, though, is, is the trick. I thought I remembered there being a... Aha, here it is. Harnessed Lightning. Okay, so this is two mana, Lightning Strike, except it only works on creatures. But actually it ends up being substantially more than that in decks that make a bunch of energy. Uh, you can use it just to make three energy, uh, but why, I suppose? Let's see. Also, what is the way that I type in energy, the energy icon? Uh, we'll find out. Hmm. Now, let's see, you are an uncommon. You get four energy, you can pay two to deal one damage to target creature, pay six to, okay, to target player or planeswalker. That's actually pretty good for for just doing something very basic, very simple. Um, hmm. Now it doesn't have a way to get more energy on its own, but thankfully we have Dynavolt Tower. But we only have Dynavolt Tower. Destructive Tampering. No, I can see maybe some like Brawl Deck or a sideboard card in uh, Historic. Hmm. There's a bunch of random stuff here. I don't want to make work, but I'm looking for something that's not going to take too much investment from me right now, is the trick. I'm looking for something that won't require me to spend a billion wild cards um, when I'd like to use them for other stuff, other brews. As you can tell, this is completely unscripted. Now we have one of you. I can add a few more into like a, a stompy deck. You also happen to be an elf, but you don't really help the elf game plan. A tune with ether. Ooh. Ooh! I remember this thing being banned in Standard, after all. Probably not good enough to get banned in Historic, but I don't know, we'll see. Rogue Refiner's also in here. Yeah, Rogue Refiner. Aren't you? Oh, it, it, it would help if I could spell Rogue and not Rouge. <laughs> the Sonic player, I, I guess. I'm thinking Rouge the Bat. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this is a 3-2 for 3 that draws a card and makes 2 energy. And it's an uncommon, and uncommons are the ones that I have the most of, so I guess I could go for something like that. Actually, you know what, let's let's build this. Let's build this. So, let's see. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, let's figure out how we type in energy. Nope, that's not it. Alright. Does it give me a clue? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Mm, nope, it doesn't. Code. Da -da -da -da. That would be nice. I'm sure that after I record this video is when I'll find out how to type in energy. Uh, how about you get? You get seems to be a, a pretty easy way to go about that. Alright, so let's take these out. Yep, there we go. You get blue blue. Alright. Target player mills three. Oh, I know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was the, uh... No, it's not, it's not in here. It's not in here. I was thinking I may have gotten the mana cost incorrect for the whale I was thinking of. That it was maybe five mana. Glimmer of Genius. Okay. I already like where this is going. So we can go... Attune, Rogue Refiner, Glimmer of Genius... 
Scry 2, draw 2, 2 energy. Um, where is... Ah, uh, here we go. 2 energy, and it makes it minus 4, minus 0. And it has flash for 2 mana. Just a way to stall the game a bit. Uh, this is our star... What's the starfish? <laughs> this is our sigiled starfish for the deck. It makes 3 and lets me scry 1. I need some more velocity, though. Scry is okay, but let's look for something more. Let's see. Thriving Turtle. We could make it three color. I actually have a rug mana base. Brawler if I'm going aggro. Which I guess I could. Let's see. When it attacks, you may pay one. Okay. Gets plus one, plus one, not a counter. Winding Constrictor wouldn't take actually much investment at all, would it? Um, obviously, we don't have anything like Walking Blist in the format, but... I'm sure I can make this thing work. And that would only require the four wild cards. I have the mana base for it. Um, and then what else could I pair along with it? Let's see. If I, if I am going rug, here's Whirler Virtuoso. Yeah, actually we could go for this. Oh, wait a minute. What's our infect creature? No, we don't have our infect creature. God, gum it. Alright, it's not actually infect. It's the uh, electrostatic pummeler. I just treat it like an infect creature because, come on, that's what it is. That's absolutely what it is. Alright, so Harness Lightning, just building a deck really quickly. It's uh, Harness Lightning, Attune with Aether. First Strike 2 1 might actually work for just combat shenanigans. Alright, when it attacks, alright, you get. You pay two energy to get a 1-1. One, one. Uh, so this guy, this is a common, good. So four chasers, four lightning, four renegade. Although that's only a 1-2. Oh, I better be careful. Um, double strike. Okay, so I can make it a... Th uh, that's, that's okay. Actually, we could just make a deck. We could just make a, an artisan deck here. That's... Popper with uncommons, right? Artisan? Long Tusk Cub? Yeah, we'd have to dump a ton of uncommons into here, but we can do that. We, As you can see, we hardly ever use them. So let's go for it. Let's do it. Alright. So let's build a deck. Select format, historic. Okay, here we go. And we'll just play this in the casual queue. I don't want to let my rank suffer any for doing anything silly like this. You get... And then let's go to Collected and Not Collected, Kaladesh Remastered. Here we go. Okay. So let's see. Actually, let's start off with a tune. That's the big one. One, two, three, four. Long Tusk Cub. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is a common, right? Okay, so I do actually have to watch my commons. I don't have too many of those. All right. So what... Bristling Hydra, no. That would be a good curve topper. It would be an excellent curve topper, but no. Um, and this is a format with Wrath of God, so Bristling Hydra may not be as impactful. Maybe. I think. That, that's my initial impression. So we have the Cub already. This one just gives energy. That's not worth it. This is our Paradise Druid, I guess. Um, maybe I could use some number. We'll put them in for now just so that I don't forget, but we'll probably end up taking them out, to be honest. Alright, so this is a 2-3... Sure. Alright, so let's go into... Uh, actually, let's put in... Uh, Rogue Refiner, while I'm thinking about it. It has to deal combat damage to a player, but it has flying and trample. And it gives you potentially more, but we'll start with 2. Uh... That doesn't seem enough. Oh, let's see. Let's see. let's put in the Dynavolt Tower so that I don't. Oh wait, there is Pummeler. There is Electrostatic Pummeler. Ooh, okay. It is a rare, but at some point I might make Infect with Pummeler. It's the closest thing we have to Infect now, I suppose. All right, but let's see. Let's put in Harness Lightning. Uh, Either Chaser. 
maybe not. This one doesn't make any new uh, energy, but we'll try it. I'm actually not sure about Dynavolt Tower now. We don't have a lot of instants and sorceries. And we won't by the time this is done. So that actually might not make the cut when all said and done. Okay, so this is already enough. We're, we're going to make cuts, of course. Let's see. This is only minus four minus zero. Oh. It doesn't decrease their toughness, and it doesn't make it where they can't attack or block. Era of Innovation. I did play this back in the day. Hmm. Yeah, I did. Okay. I I would put Glimmer in if this were a deck that were that was focusing more on the Dynavolt Tower. I don't think that's what we're doing here, though. I think we just turned into Zoo. We did. We totally did. Alright, so... I don't actually have much to get rid of creatures. I have Harness Lightning. We can try to do something like Meltdown anyway. Uh... Creature or Vehicle. If there happened to be some more permanent solution to creatures, that would be good. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of... But this is 5 mana and it's a rare. Uh... That's not what I was meaning. I'm a little surprised they didn't go into uh, building any cards that said uh, you pay less based on their, um, like, based on how much energy you have. Like, you can pay energy to reduce the mana cost. At least if they did, I don't remember that being the case. Um, now, this one might actually be more impactful than the 2-1 First Strike creature. Oh, no, actually, no. This one... I think has more potential to make more tokens because it flies and it can attack safely, but the tokens are still just 1-1 one, one servos, so maybe not. There's no populate uh, in the format. Still. <sighs> Put a plus one plus one counter on your O3. Sure. Sure, boss. Uh, that's a really good investment of energy, don't, wouldn't you say? Don't you think? Um, we actually still might be able to use Dynavolt Tower, but that, uh, I don't know. So if I just kept it the way that we have it right now, taking out Tower probably, we have a Tune to get Basics, Harness Lightning for Removal, Long Tusk, Servant for Colors, and for Ramp, into, we have Renegade, as just a 1-2 that can start, uh, now that I look at it, that doesn't seem as... It doesn't seem as good anymore. Uh, although, I guess the fact that it makes four energy powers up things like Rhino. So this is where we actually care. Thriving Rhino, Word of Virtuoso, which makes Flyers, uh, Rogue Refiner, Scrap Champion. Yeah, we could just take out the tower and go from here. Um, this is going to be one, how many, two, just two commons, that's it. And then I have enough uncommons for the rest of it. Let's call it... Uh, rug... Artisan Rug Energy. Why not? That's, that's what it is. Now let's fix up the mana base, because... Holy heck, we need it. Oh yeah, we're, we're still sorted into... Kaladish Remastered, and we're still sorted into blue. We can fix that. One, two, three, four... Everything except for the mana base is going to be appropriate for this. And hopefully this gave me Kaladesh. Yep, good. We're, we're fine. I don't care too much about Witch Art for right now. This is just a crap post, let's say. One, two, three, four. Oh, I could put uh, Ether Hub in here. That's an uncommon. And that one actually could see play outside of this, I imagine. Uh, so Steam Vents. Yeah, Steam Vents. One, two, three, four. All right, and then the one that I don't have, Breeding Pool, Steam Vents, and Stomping Ground. Stompy. All right, good. We still have a boo. Well, we only have, oh uh, yeah, it took out my islands. Yeah, we don't have need for that many islands in this. All the more reason to have Servant of the Conduit, I suppose. Okay, so we'll put in Ether Hub. One, two, three, four. And then go to uh, two forest island. Oh, oops. Sort basics. Uh, 
Sure, you look pretty. Alright, so one island, one mountain, two forests. Is that correct? I think that the green is more important than the red, right? In this deck? Not to say that we'll have too much of an issue, I hope. 24 lands. It seems a little bit high. I can try to drop something. And what would I end up dropping? Mm, so we go in here and we take a look at uh, our colors. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, that, that's exactly right. So the one that we need the least is Steam Vents. I could take out one copy of Steam Vents. And I still want to keep uh, four basics for Fabled Passage, though that might not be right. Uh, uh, <laughs> do one forest. Mm. All right, I may be completely incorrect in doing this, but especially since we have a tune with Ether, I want to start off with the forest. This will give me four basics for a tune in Fable Passage. Uh, but now, I need to add one more card, and I guess this is where the tower could come back if we were going that way. Oh, what the heck. What the heck. So, 13 and 62. 32 uncommons for a meme deck. For a silly little meme deck. Please, please, please don't hold it against me if this doesn't work too well. Oh, I didn't even notice. Cast 20 blue or green spell. Well, hey. Well, hey. Okay. Watch this deck absolutely not work whatsoever. I am 42 minutes into this and we're getting to the first game. Thank you all for sticking around. I appreciate that. That was a, a live deck building session. Also, <laughs> this one is an artisan deck. Also, also, I didn't put any mainboard artifact removal in, which is going to hurt, uh, <laughs> since those are apparently all the rage nowadays. Unfortunately, I can't sort into just fighting against artisan decks. Oh, if I could. A tune, get an island. Hello! And we'll play the cub next. Oh, hi! Oh, boy! So, it has this little icon over on the side. Uh, that's it. We're gonna save the energy. Just in case this thing starts to eat a lightning bolt, uh, a harness lightning or a lightning strike or something. There's no way they'd shock, uh, unless they saw it on the stack. Servant of the Conduit. Ooh, okay. Yes, so now we can fire it off and it should be okay. Activate ability. Alright. Zzzzap. Zzzz. Let's play this out. So I have two more. Those must. See if they want to block. There's no way that they will. Uh, we can activate the ability for just a little bit more damage, and it gets it up to four. Although Harness Lightning can still take me out. I have to watch out for that. Because they have two from Servant, three from Harness Lightning. Uh, if they happen to be playing red as well... Ooh! I already like where this is going. We start to see a similar deck. A very similar deck. Z okay. Um, sure, all the energy. Let's see. Interesting. Uh, pass to my turn. Sure. Let's see, I'm thinking. There is definitely a, a, an inclination to use that, but we'll attack with the refiner first. I believe that that's correct. Alright. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We're going to save the Harness Lightning.
Hmm. That might not have been correct. Uh, well, they're not in colors that typically run Wrath, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, they got their ether up. Eight energy. Uh oh. <gasps> ether works, Marvel. That's in this set. They don't have Walking Blista or Cat, but they have Etherworks Marvel, another banned card. They have Rogue Refiner and a Tomb of Ether and Etherworks Marvel. Ooh, is that what you found? Okay, I can live with that. That said, they're almost back to where they were. Has to attackers. We're gonna divide and conquer here. Well, I don't know. That might not be right. Yeah, yeah, I think this is correct. All right. Oh my goodness, another one. 17. Jeez. I can gain four so that I can deal an extra uh, two, make it 11, or I could get another cub out. Let's look at Marvel. Spell. Any spell. Jeez. Jeez. Let's get a mountain. Nope. Yeah, let's get a mountain. That's right. Our hand generally needs more of that. We can actually cast all of these and just pray. That might not be a bad idea. This has to deal combat damage, so I don't have energy now. I guess we'll do it, though. Alright. I have a bad feeling about this, but we'll see. What's Marvel going to hit? They need to pop one of their Puzzle Knots, which will be three mana, but they can do that. So three mana, pop it, and then either works Marvel. Mar I don't even dislike the design of Marvel, but it's one of those cards that definitely needed to have more energy required for its ability. Uh, it ends up only being 6 instead of, say, 8. It's like how Treasure Cruise would have been fine if it cost 9 in blue, in all likelihood. Even then it still would have been good, but I don't know if it would have been restricted in vintage, let's say. <gasps> oh no! Well, it didn't matter that I divided them, after all. <gasps> Wait, we still win! Don't use that ability, Jay. We still win! Oh my goodness, we still win the game! Ether Torch Renegade! Oh, can they kill it? Hey, eight! I'm a little bit shy. No, we don't win, actually. Oh, we don't win. Well, let's see what I top deck. <gasps> we got Hub! We got Hub! We got hub for days. Target you, pay zero. Make three, pay zero. Because this requires eight. Why does this require eight and this requires six? <gasps> yes! Oh, we got there! Oh, we got there! We beat it and resolved Ulamog! We beat Ulamog! We beat... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one of those magic bucket list things where your opponent resolves an Ulamog and the trigger, the cast trigger, and you still... Yeah! Aetherworks Marvel cast! You actually get... Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I'm, I'm just happy about that. I was not expecting that to go anywhere near as well as it did. They had rares and mythics. I'm playing commons and uncommons. Let's go. Let's go. I definitely don't have enough coffee for this. Welcome to Silly Magic with T1 Glistener Elf. Silly Magic is best magic though, right? Silly Magic is best magic. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Yes, I am. <laughs> Just not yet. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll keep. Ryokute. Kuka. 
Yokute Kikuka. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> oh, I'm a shark! <laughs> if you get that, I apologize. I, I didn't play the Fable Passage first because I'm hoping we get an. Hey, we got another land! Woo! Why be good when you can be lucky? Alright. Oops. Hello. Uh, eat it. Doot, doot, doot. And gotcha. Um, so with Mutate, I, I thought about playing that in response. I should have, but uh, for whatever reason, I decided it was a great idea to do it there. If you do it in response to the Mutate, uh, they still actually get the creature, unfortunately. And it's when you cast a creature spell, if it has mutated. So they get the draw discard anyway. So I think that that was correct. So let's draw a card. And we get another Rogue Refiner. Heck yeah. Uh, that might work out for us. I have a sneaking suspicion we need to kill a few more creatures before it will, though. So Renegade only deals one to a creature. That's nowhere near as much as we need. Uh, let's attack first. And then let's play another Refiner, get our 3-2, that draws us another card. Alright. Play our Shockland Tapped, and go. Now this one actually could... Ooh. Uh-oh. Does It doesn't fly though, so okay. We'll, we'll make the trip. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! And of course they're attacking. If we wait a turn, we can use Champion. Double Strike 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, we don't need to give up our creature. Although we just gave them a card. That's unfortunate. Ah. This is tricky, isn't it? It's only when it attacks that Champion gets the buff, unfortunately. And they are in colors for removal, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Let's see. When it attacks. Only when it attacks. Yeesh. This isn't... this isn't great. I'll actually play the Fable Passage. Uh, it may give me a chance to do some deck thinning. Now, I guarantee you that they will have another mutate for this. Uh, get out that auspicious Starix, I think it's called? No, no, they don't. Ooh! Let's do it on upkeep. Go to my turn, do it now. So I have more mana. It doesn't matter, but that's a good habit to get into, especially in Legacy and Vintage. But especially in Legacy, where you actually do have to worry about Stifle as a card. I think we're good on blue mana. Let's go for green. Even then, that might not have been right. Oh! Go figure. Go to main. Now, this doesn't let me pay two energy as many times as I would like. Get another energy. Energy for men. Minergy. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so let's attack with our two-two. I do have to make the decision now. We will. We have enough. They don't know that we have more coming. So they will make the block here. No! <gasps> Pouncing Shore Shark! Alright, that'll get them a land, and it'll return to hand. I'm gonna give them the nice for that. That was pretty cool. I haven't switched any of my emotes out. Oh boy. Um, in that case, we can do Rhino. No. I think it's still probably right to play the champion here. It can at least deal with the Great Horn later on. Alright, back to where we were. They basically just blanked us a turn. 
Ooh, uh-oh. So they, I have to sacrifice a creature, aka sacrifice a rogue refiner. Oh, it's destroy, not sack. There's a different one that's sacrifice. The knights who say knee demand a sacrifice. Ow. Alright. I have a sneaking suspicion that they can keep doing that. Let's play the rogue refiner first. Harnessed lightning. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Alright. I mean, th they're still going to be able to play from here, but... Let's do it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I clicked an extra time, but I guess I clicked too early. Alright, is there anything they can do off one mana? No, I don't think so. Okay, good. Blossoming Defense is a card, but that's not... Yeah, that, that's... Actually, no, that could be something to see in this deck. Alright, mutate. Draw a card. Draw! Monster card. Uh, and it's hexproof. All right, so no more of that. No more of those shenanigans. Okay, so we'll play. Ooh, Whirler Virtuoso. That actually can be used to block for a little while. So I can go Champion and oh no wait, I can do Renegade. So Renegade gets us pretty close to lethal, and they're not in colors for life gain. So this just straight up kills them if they don't do something about it. Whirler Virtuoso gives me some defense, because it, it does fly now. Hexproof flying. I only have uh, 12 energy, and I'm about to have 15, and then 12, because I'll end up spending 3 of it for flying. Alright, let's see. Oh boy. Let's pass. Try to make life a little bit hard on them. That's the goal, anyway. If they have another Pouncing Shore Shark, thankfully we can at least make some tokens to block. Oh boy. Okay. Symbio. Okay. I mean, I'm sure they have another Mutate creature. Yep, okay. Making sure they do it properly. Pouncing Shore Shark again. Alright, draw a discard. So it's draw a card and then bounce. And they're going to bounce the Renegade, I would think. Since they don't want to die. Dying seems bad. Dying seems pretty bad. So we'll just let that go through. The only other thing I could do is start making tokens. Which will soon get us the game, to be fair. To attackers. Yeah, you better not attack. I think we can afford to do it once. Alright. If I just went all... If I went wide here... I could go... I can make four more. I have five in the air. They block the 3-2 and the three, th uh, the other 3-2. So that's two. Oh, I would be one shy. So let's not do it yet. We aren't quite there just yet. Alright, now we should be there. Unless, well, we'll see what else they play. And it, actually, they do have a Pouncing Shore Shark, so they're probably good on that. Actually. Actually. But really. Hmm. Could do Champion. Either, it doesn't really matter. Let's do Champion. That's the more impactful one. And then, let that go. And pass turn. So now we have lethal next turn, but I'm sure they have more that they can do. Oh, another shore shark. Oh, crap. That's double shore shark. So, geez. Oh, geez. That's not fun. That's not bueno. Actually, I'd like to take a look at their graveyard really quickly. Okay, good. 
Alright, sure. That one's okay. Yep, okay, just as I predicted. They're just trying to keep themselves in the game. What they... I'm sure they see it. I have... I have lethal on board now. Well, not on board, but I'm, I'm counting the six tokens I'm about to make in just a second. Another symbio. Okay. So they have double draw discard. Alright, let's see what they can do. Draw discard. Oh no! Oh no, what's that? That's the one that uh, drains based on the number of times it's mutated, right? Uh-oh. X is the number of times this creature is mutated. Nice! Very nice, Caesar chan And they're gonna return stuff too, aren't they? Oh, no! Alright, so what's this first one going after? Doesn't matter yet. Ow. Okay. Return. Return. Then draw a card. This is going pretty well for them. I dig it. Oh, God. You stop. You stop that right now. Alright. So then they'll bounce the tokens. I'm going to lose five here. They'll gain five. So first one targets a token because that just gets rid of it. Oh, jeez. Alright. Oh, no, wait a minute, it does it twice! Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, I'm just going to make a bunch of these. Just making a bunch. Why? Just to do it. <laughs> and then we lose. And then we lose the game. Woo! That was fun. That was fun. Well, I have one more win than I was expecting to have with this silliness. And I do think that's the right word. We'll open some packs afterwards, but let me get at least one more in with this thing. Chima. Okay. Ooh. Oh. It only took 20 minutes for two games. Uh, not having red mana is a, a bit of an issue, but we're on the draw, so we have another chance to get there. And even if we don't, we have a cub. Aha! Ta-da! Give him the big hello. Alright. Pass. Pass, hold up, opt, right? Let's see. Yeah, let's go for just play the cub out. Instead of holding up the... Harness Lightning, just play the cub. Get the aggro in. Alright, give me some. Okay. Let's see. Give me some damage, little buddy. Rogue Refiner. Nice. Alright. Well, hmm. It has to actually deal combat damage. So I guess I'm supposed to go for Harness Lightning, deal two and then connect, deal three, and or deal two, and then gain the energy so that I can make it a three, three. I think that that's what I'm supposed to do here. It feels kind of weird using a harness lightning like this, but I think that this might be correct. Alternatively, I could have just attacked. I don't know that that's right, though. It could very well be. Yeah, I, I could have messed up there. They weren't going to block anyway, though. If they were to block, then I wouldn't get the energy. Because I wouldn't deal combat damage. It doesn't have trample. Uh, sure. That's okay. So they gain some energy and gain some life. Seems good. This is another Marvel deck, isn't it? Got, like, the Giorno thing going on. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, every every JoJo bro, Joe bro, whatever whatever out there. All right, so see energy put. Uh, oh, you idiot, you idiot! Why did you do that? You idiot! Okay. Try that again. I dare you. All right. 
Uh, so you put the infect symbol over here. Infect in arena confirmed. I wish. I wish. Dude, what I would do. What I would do. Alright. Well, let's make you do it. Uh, yes. We will spend it. And then it die. No, they don't have Harness Lightning in hand. Okay. They don't have it in hand. Good to know. We'll take we'll shock here so we can play both. I don't think they're in wrath colors and we need to anyway. Um Yeah, let's go for a Renegade. Hmm. Okay. Make the cub a little bit stronger. And now, thankfully, I know they don't have shock in hand. But now, ta-da! There we go. I can uh, respond to shock with another usage of energy. Oh god, not this again. Nice. Maybe they won't just get a puzzle knot. Alright, do it now. Oh, a Whirler Virtuoso. Why is this only six? <laughs> Come on, why is that six? Uh, you don't even need to use the when a permanent you control is put into a graveyard bit. You can just go. Go to town. Alright. See if they shock in response. I doubt it, but we'll see. You never know. Well, let's go for it. Let's do it again. Do it again, do it again. Let's see. Let's attack with not you. Alright. I'll pay it. Try to divide the damage up a little bit. Okay, that's that's weird. They could have spent... Well, it, it doesn't matter. If they spend three energy, they'd make a 1-1. One, one. It is a permanent. Block with that, gain an energy, go to three, and then anything that gives them three gets them back in it. So I think that tells me something about their hand, though I might be reading too much into it. To be fair, I might just be reading too much into it. All right. So, yeah, I, I guess they could just be going for the guarantee there. I was just reading too much into it. That's all. Alright. Here comes Ulamog. You know, I did actually have Ulamog from Historic Can- Okay. Thankfully this isn't cast, but still. Okay. No. Oh. Just another Whirler Virtuoso. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, more marbles. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. That, that makes more sense. So if they block with this Whirler Virtuoso, they get to do it again. Wait, really? Ah, ha, 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 ha. I see. They let the new one come in untapped so they can do it again. I'll give them the nice on that one. That's pretty cool. They're they're fighting hard. Credit where credit is due. They are fighting hard. And they got an entertainment either. No, no, never mind. There's an ultimatum. Oh wait, they cast this one, didn't they? Poor opponent. I'm sure there's Ulamog in there somewhere, but geez, this is not, this is probably not going the way that they thought it would. Sorry. Oh, they fixed it! It now says sorry again instead of, oops. Um, I'm gonna say thinking. Alright. Let's see. If I can swing through, spend... Oh, boy. There's not a way to do this, is there? Yeah, so we'll attack with... 
you, 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 hold one back, that means that if they block the biggest dude, which is uh, Long Tusk Cub, yeah, then we got them. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's what we want to see. Alright. Perfect. Alright, not not actually. We don't have them dead yet. But, that's... that's fine. They played that as well as they could, I think. Yeah, they, they see now, I, I think. They were dead if they didn't do that. Oh no! Ugin! Ugin, okay. Well, that's alright. We can at least kill... No, it's not alright. We're dead. No matter what they do here, Ugin's gonna kill us. Uh, we can deal six to Ugin, but that doesn't... We're not gonna win from that. It is true that I can make two tokens. And they will survive this. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. I'll keep playing it out, you know. Till the... <laughs> it's never over till the fat lady sings. Oh, just to get some extra energy. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. And then now they have enough for Marvel. Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> you stop that. It's it's amazing how quickly Historic got taken over by Cal... Oh, Double Ulamog! I'm gonna give them the good game. I'm gonna give them the good game. They got me. They, they got me. That was fun. That was funny. That was fun. 30 minutes, 3 games. Let me get one more win. Uh, one more game. Whether it's a win or not, I hope it's a win. <laughs> then again, I'm playing Artisan. I'm over here playing with, like, Mega Blocks, and everyone else is playing with, you know, actual building materials. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> Just a sip. Okay, that's... that's the, uh, the hint that I need. If there... if we're out of coffee, <laughs> then there is a time limit left on this video. Since we have the servant, we'll keep him. Give him the hello. I spent 32 uncommon wild cards on this monstrosity, this silliness. Oh, this is going to be uh, auras, hex auras. In that case, do we want to hold up the harness lightning instead of using servant? I don't think we do. Let's see if they go into, like, a turn two, uh, core spirit dancer. Turn two... Oh, they're just going for it now. Okay. What's next? Ooh, curiosity. Arcane flight. Okay. Well, in that case, this harness lightning looks really good, doesn't it? And this is why we're patient, kids. This is why we play patiently. Alright, deal three. One, two, three. Blip. Hiya. Toya! Iya! Uah! Okay, enough of that. Mission complete! Yeah, the one energy's fine. The one energy's worth it. That's a weird way to go about doing that. I did not need to do it that way. I got a little bit of deck thinning in. Not worth. Not worth. All right. In before it gets eaten. 
Ah, uh, Stone Coil Serpent. That's a really weird card to see here. That's not something you usually find in uh, a deck like this. Okay. Interestingly enough, that means that if they happen to run any copies of Staggering Insight, they can't go on the Stone Coil. That, though, is a problem. That's a bit of a problem. Well, hmm. Okay, then. First Strike is more efficient than uh, Double Strike. It ends up being something of a counter to me. That said, unless they have another buff, and of course they do, I can use this to take out the Stone Coil Serpent. No attacks. It's sad that the champion only gets it upon attack, though. That is a little unfortunate. And while Whirl of Virtuoso can't block the Serpent, the tokens can, by virtue of being colorless, or not multicolor. However, it has Trample, so that's not... Oh, oh, that's gross. That's gross. That's a little disgusting. Blocking, why are you attacking with the 1-1? One one? Do you have the uh, flat? No, they don't. They don't have the flash aura. And Lurus is in hand, as you do. To literally no one's surprise. Okay, so they're going to play Lurus, Arcane Flight next turn. And then we're dead. Good game. I'm just going to call it for them. I think that they have it. Lurus Arcane Flight will do the job. Actually, I don't even know if I completed my quest yet. My, uh, 20 blue or green spells. So maybe I should have played the Virtuoso first. Ah, uh, we did. Okay, cool. Um, let's see... Uh, you know what? Just for shiggles, let's switch to something else. And also, because I'm almost out of coffee. I've been running a Bant Row Ramp deck. Actually, I've been playing this in Ranked, too. Though the deck isn't quite finished. I just, I have fun playing Control. It, that does, of course, mean that this game is going to drag on for a little while, so I apologize. But we'll see. The win conditions in the deck are Uro, of course, Hydroid Crisis, and some number of Planeswalkers, like Teferi and Nyssa. Um, yeah, this looks, this looks fine. We'll, we'll hang on to this one. We'll keep it. It is ramp, so it's running cards like Explore. You're always going to run Growth Spiral, of course, but Explore is weird. Explore is interesting. I think that it's a fine card to play. Give him the hello. Let's scry. See if we can find another land. Nissa, as mu as good as you are. I have faith that we'll get there. I maybe my faith is misplaced, but since we have another scry land and Uro, I think that we'll get there. That's my hope, anyway. That's my hope. And if we do, Nissa's kind of bonkers. Okay. Let's shock, because it doesn't look like this is a matchup where that matters, where life total matters too much. Uh, let's play Temple. Farm to Market is not uh, a great card. That one definitely needs to go. But since I don't have another settle, it's, it's Farm to Market instead. So let's put that one down. We only need one more and we'll have enough to get to, uh, to Nyssa. And then hopefully she can just take the game over. Hmm. Narset. Uh, since we're playing against Control, let's actually jam Narset first. I think that that might be right. Instead of Uro. Ooh, well, okay, I'm glad we got that out of the way now. Better on Narset than on Nyssa. Hmm, okay. That's unfortunate. Trying, trying to watch my opponent's behavior with their, uh, their, ooh, ooh, boy. Okay. Resolve. Uh, let's hit so uh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I could hit Uro. Uro actually can do something from the yard. 
but Settle doesn't seem like it's going to be great in this matchup. It may be odd, but let me try that. As to my turn, I did find a land, so while they're tapped out, maybe I'm supposed to play Nyssa. So if I play Nyssa, I can't do Cast Out this turn. Hmm. Kind of would like to get rid of this Bolus while they're tapped out. On the other hand, I'd like to resolve Nyssa while they're tapped out. Uh, which one is correct? I don't know. Get an island. Alright. Let's go for it. Actually, what's the size of their graveyard? Oh gosh, no. Not even close. Alright. Now that said, watch them have a way to get rid of Cast Out. Although in those colors, it's going to have to be Bounce. Uh, well, no, there is actually a black... Uh, there's a Feed the Swarm, I think it's called. There's a black enchantment removal card. I, I don't think that's in here, but we'll see. Putting Thought Seize down is... Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, okay. And we have to exile it. Um, well, this is going to be fun. All right. That might not have been right. Hi, Nissa. All right. Yes, I know. Now they have one. If I make Breeding Pool it, then I can use Growth Spiral. And cast Growth Spiral. All right. Hiya. In turn. Cool. So now they can't kill Nyssa directly, although they can make a 3-3. That'll be fun. Alright, so plus, presumably? Or do they want to Yeah, okay. Good. Alright. We'll use the Growth Spiral now. See what we get. It doesn't matter, I can get it from the field anyway. Alright, cool. So there that goes. Now, it's probably going to end up being Island. Almost certainly going to end up being Island. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, do you have a kill spell? Can you make me regret that? Thoughtseize! Uh, Uro! Yay! I think we're okay with that. We actually even have enough. Hoorah! Who raw? <clears throat> Ooh, uh, well that's not fun. That's okay. We can kill Bolus and then st Ooh, no crap. Okay then. Uh, well now we don't have the mana for Uro anymore. That's unfortunate. We might even want to hold on to the growth spiral. No, it's fine. I was about to say we could hold on to the growth spiral so that we can get rid of, uh, get rid of it for Bolus. Alright. Or we could cycle it and hope we get a bad card. Yeah, I, th I think that's good game. You win 0% of the games where you concede, but I'm pretty strongly considering it now, even so. <laughs> Fun. All right. <laughs> Triple growth spiral, let's go. I mean, this happens sometimes. I'm gonna call good game, I'm sorry. You win 0% of the games you can see, but this is casual Q. And instead of playing it out, let's just move on to the next one. Huh, so if I had dropped Uro instead, no. Hmm. I don't know. That one was tough. Hydroid Crisis plays well against Bolas. Tribal Bolas, folks. And Dark Intimations is a card now, thanks to Kaladesh Remastered, so they got that new toy to play with as well. Alright, let's go for it. Let's say, uh, Hello Fountain first. Give him the hello. Hello! 
at that. Dark Souls. Hello. This is a 3-2 first strike. No, no, yeah, there we go. First strike. So it's actual factual 3-2 first strike. Can confirm. Let that come in taps. We're playing against Zoo, so let's not take any more damage than we have to. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's Zoo. Yep, it's Zoo. So yeah, it's a 3-2. Oh boy. If you control an artifact, yay. Well, fun fact, they do. Uh, let's do Uro first instead of Narset, so that we have a better chance of actually keeping her. Okay, so Heart of Kirin is weird. Um, you can remove a loyalty counter or its crew three. Yeesh. Oh boy. Well, that, that plays around Wrath of God pretty nicely. That means I'll have to hold up Settle to get rid of them. Bomac Courier. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, this is fun. I have a sneaking suspicion that they're going to use the indestructible one to keep it up. Yay, fun. This is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. Pass damage. Alright, I, I guess we'll hold up the settle then, won't we? Yeah, just the one planes. It doesn't work for Uro, after all. Alright, and then pass. Alright. Uh, I should have actually fired off Wrath here, shouldn't I? Because, oh no, they're not going to attack with the hol the Hollow Blade anyway, no matter what. It's just going to be used to crew the Copter. Eventually we'll get to the point where we can put out a 6-6, six -six, and then we don't have to worry about it being a 3-1 indestructible. Ooh, hello. That's a problem. That's a problem. Alright, Wrath to Exile, go. See if we can get somewhere with this. I have a sneaking suspicion that the answer is no. This one little jerk and this one little jerk are playing around Wrath of God so well, and I, I kind of like it. Oh, yep, that's good. Oh, they're not using heart. Alright, cool. Oh, I should have done response. Oh, no, they don't have red mana open. It doesn't matter. They don't have red mana open. Whee! So that got rid of the indestructible dude. We take that. And if I can kill this thing, which I can, then we don't have to worry about crewing heart. They don't have a planeswalker yet. Never mind. All right. Would you like to use up your last card in hand? I don't know what it is, but would you like to? Motorist is gone no matter what. Yeah, this is the joy of playing... Oh, okay. Okay. We take those. Hazaret. Uh-oh. Oh, and she has haste. Yeah, yes she does. Alright, where's Cast Out? Um, hmm. Okay, Narset first. See what we can get. There's another Settle. I hate to show it to my opponent, but you do what you have to do. I think we're good on lands. I think it's safe to say that we're good on lands. Although, land Ugin would be a thing. Oh, we're dead. They can attack and then use Hazaret's ability and we're dead. Omae wa mo shindeiru. Yeah, that's a good game. They got a good game for me. hi ya Man, we are not having a hot day today. 
Oh. <sighs> I'm sure I can think of something that's better than farm to market. <laughs> Surely. Sensor. I could run sensor there instead. At least that does something. Could spend. I just spent 32 uncommon wild cards. I could put cast out in instead. You know what? Sure, let's go for that. Cast out's an actual card. Let's see. Farm to, now, Spring to Mind is intentional. Uh, late in the game, it gives me something to do with those extra cards, or with that extra mana. Um, three Absorb is a little weird, but I guess that's alright. Finish deck? Cool. Oh, we have styles for it? Apply styles for some of the stuff? Aha! Aha! Oh, I could have put another Seagate Restoration in, actually, for more lands. Maybe I should do that instead. Get all the land. I think we're good on lands, though. On the one hand, 28 lands is, is pretty excessive. On the other hand, because of the best of one shuffler, it tends to give you only two or three anyway. Uh, so it, it makes it more likely that I'll draw them later in the game. One way you can get around that, though, is by playing cards like this, because it doesn't seem to count them as lands for the purpose of the best of one shuffler. Uh, so you're more likely to have more lands in your opening hand, if you play enough of these. Uh, that said, cast out cycles, if nothing else, so I think we're okay. Let's try that again. Can I get one more win, please? Maybe I should just force myself into ranked, just so that I can have that pressure on me. That totally helps. Another thing I could do is, I could put more Hydroid Crisis in, but I'd have to spend wild cards. Not that that's too much of an issue. It's, it's a it's a really good card. I like flexible finishers like that. Alright. So yeah, one of each shock land, as you do. A tune. Hello. We get to see more energy. Men are okay. If I had any doubts as to what I'm playing first, the fact that I drew a basic planes actually doesn't change it at all because Growth Spiral does not work off of white. So I guess let's go. Hallowed Fountain Pass. Alright, let's see. Hi, Hero. Doesn't matter, we'll fire it off now. Why not? Why not? Okay. Yeah, we still have our blue, blue, white. Now, I could try to play a little bit slowly next turn by holding up Absorb. I don't know if that's necessarily right, though. Maybe I'm just supposed to ram. It does kind of defeat the purpose of playing a card like Absorb, though. That's okay. We have Teferi coming up. I think we'll make it work. So next turn I can go Teferi, play a land, and then I can untap a Hallowed Fountain Breeding Pool. Ooh, never mind. Never mind, that messed me up a little bit. Okay, well then. Ugh, oh, that's not fun. Es no bueno. In that case, we'll just make up big hydroid crisis. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, we have mind. We can hold up mind. Oh, uh, no. No hydroid crisis. Well, that answered that for me then. What is this, four? This will actually take a card out of my yard for Uro. But I think that that's probably right. We'll, we'll, we'll play it slowly, cautiously. I think that that's correct. A tune is fine. You can have it. I'll save it for a more impactful spell, like Marvel. Which is surely in here somewhere. Hello, mind. Draw two. Very nice. Very nice, Sisa-chan. Activate now for deck thinning. Yay. Get another forest, another frest. Alright, play Uro, and I still have the ability to hold up, cast out, and absorb. As you do. Uh, sure. Tapped. Although I don't know that I needed to in this matchup. Uh, and then pass. Yeah, we're not playing the Uro yet. Should kind of give away to my opponent what's up here. Alright, play Marvel. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you, mother- okay. Okay. Another- oh no, this is the one from the yard. 
How many will it be? None. Hello. Ooh, we can absorb it. Or we can do cast out. Let's do absorb because they know about that card. Oh no, that's wrong. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. It keeps them from drawing a card. I was about to say I could do it on Ether Marvel, Etherworks Marvel, because if I use cast out on that, it doesn't matter. They still get the uh they still get the draw. Oh, let's play the forest first. So we use another forest for it. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Okay, we got to stick our arrow, and it didn't die yet. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think we're good. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this gives us Gross Spiral and Cast Out. Uh, so, pass. Alright, he's dead, Jim. So, one card in yard, and it's Uro. Sloosh. Alright, that as expected. We can live with that. It's not ideal, but we can live with that. Alright. Let's go on. Play a Growth Spiral. Ooh, hello. Alright. What you got? Still? Yeah, I think that kind of gave away what I have. So we'll play the Temple first so that we can scry for Uro. For the trigger here. Nope. Thank you. Well! No, it's fine. Attack. Wrath of God. Jeez. Well, it's only a matter of time until they find a marble, and then we're in trouble. Hmm. Okay. That's fair enough. I mean, what can you do? Let's see how many we have. Uh, not a lot. Ooh! Ooh, okay. So make a Zamboni, and then get cast out. Hello? There we are. It's the only permanent. Does it, okay. I'll say, do it automatically, please. Please. Pretty please. <gasps> Boom. Laze. And yes, we could have targeted them and used up a Wrath. I probably should have to fill the yard for Uro, but it's okay. Since they already know about the Wrath anyway. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ugin War. Ow. Alright, let's see what we get. I'm a little surprised they didn't go minus four on Ugin. That would have been neat. Let's do it again. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Well. Ow. Punch. Falcon! Punch! Let's see. Yeah. Let's use the Explorer. This actually still leaves us with enough for Wrath. pay the two. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Right, I would have to drop a Wrath here to get uh, Uro, but since I have so many lands, I can just do that next turn anyway. But they already know about it. They know not to build a board. Oh, ow. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, boy. Where is it? Oh. Just doing it again because why not? Gaining life. Yay. Alright, how many do they have? Four. Alright. Uh, we can do three, and then we can do three more with Nyssa. We can fire Wrath, Nyssa, and... Well, we can do Nyssa first. Yeah, Nyssa first, for sure. Do I have any Temple Plenty? So yeah, we have to do this, don't we? White, green, green. Right, here we go. Alright. 
So I can fire off a wrath. Yes! Okay, so it's supposed to be fire wrath first, then untap one of them, uh, say like basic forest, and use it to help make Uro oh, attack first, then use it to make Uro uh, so that I can have my cake and eat it too. Since I only needed one more card in the yard to get Uro out. The wrath did nothing except give me the chance to cast Uro. Uro? And uh, Ugin would have been at two, so Ugin would have been too low to exile Uro. Now let's, I say we open some packs. I say we open a pack or 12. Uh, Ikoria's been my, my jam for a while. This is just a mega video, isn't it? We are uh, an, an hour 40 into it. If you're still watching, thank you. Uh, let's do Throne first. Let's see, what did we get? As you can see, I haven't been opening much Throne. Look at all the first on here. Uh, yeah, okay. So it makes two one ones, except they're three threes. Okay, it doesn't do anything about their abilities, but I can see this being neat. I'm not sure what for, but someone can think of something. There we go. Oh, it just, there, I missed. Touchpad, touchpad Y. Fell the peasant. The pheasant, excuse me, fell the pheasant. <laughs> fell the peasant, ooh. Uh, yeah, five damage to target creature with flying creative food. Sure. Uh, opportunistic dragon. Gain control of a human or an artifact. Okay. And tournament grounds again. Hmm. Folio of Fancies. I've seen this in some weird mill shenanigans. Because, why not? Let's see what we can find in Theros. Oh boy. Could I, I could use more Croxa. I only have three. Alright, Treacherous Blessing. I thought I would hopefully jinx myself positively for it. Alright. Theros, number two. Ooh, Annex again. Thassa's Intervention. That's something that could go into my deck. Into the ban... It's weird running counter spells in a deck that's ramping, and a deck that's dedicating itself to ramping out. Uh, I think some number is probably fine. And Absorb at least gives me some life against aggro. But it, it is kind of unfortunate. One side of your deck wants to develop itself further, and the other wants to counter things, which means holding yourself back. Hey, LMAO. All right, cool. Yeah. I appreciate all this. Appreciate. Ooh, hi, Elspeth Conquers Death. I forgot that I already had one of you, but this is a real card. Alright, save Ikoria. Save the best for last. Yeah. That's the reason why I have the Vault Progress in the first place, because I've been opening so many of those. Scavenging Ooze. Heck yes. Titanic Growth, Ranger's Guile, and now we have Blossoming Defense, too. Uh, so we can just do an Infect Impression. Now, if only we had Infect Creatures. We have Electrostatic Pummeler, but that cares about energy. Alright. Bane's... Oh! Ha I already had one? Okay. Bane Slayer Angel. Yes, Tribal Angels is a thing. And I have a, a friend over at Tapstar, shouts to Jason, who runs Angels in Pioneer, because they're good. They're a good little mid-range deck. Bishop of Wings, they, you know, First Strike and Flying, and other stuff. Okay. Discontinuity. As long as it's your turn, this spell- Oh! THE WORLD! <laughs> Tokyo Tamare! Good times, I get to be Dio. This is my first one, so now I can make a Dio deck. I swear, if I can get my hands on a particular card, uh, I'm not gonna say what it is, because if I play against Rukulin, who is also a JoJo fan, then I, I want to I want to surprise her about it, but it, I'm trying to work on a JoJo deck. Says the guy who just spent a bunch of his wild cards on a meme. Uh, yeah, that's fun. All right, and then now for the best for last. Oh yeah, okay. I can feel my throat already. It's getting scratchy. Need some more coffee first. All right, hunted nightmare. Okay. This there was a hunted cycle back in OG Ravnica back in that block. Uh, where you would give your opponent stuff in exchange for you having an above curve creature. A three mana, four, five menace, but they get to put death touch on one of their creatures. So if they don't have a creature, great. 
So uh, obviously you play it in a deck that tries to minimize the number of creatures they have. You're in black, so that shouldn't be too, too, too hard. Zenith Lair again, yay. Mi oh, wait, this is my first one. Mythos of Vadrock. Okay, no, is it? I thought it was. No, no, it's Mythos of Iluna. The Mythos of the copy one that I don't have any of. Hmm. Still, even to this day. Didn't jinx myself to get more, though. This is, I think, the fourth Fronland Felidar. Yay. Vigilance matters, yay. Alright. Can we finally get another Triumph? Nope. We had to get another <laughs> Mythos of Vadrock. I think I'm being told something. Play this card. Play this card. Alright, so it's just four... Four mana, five damage, but if you happen to be running Jeskai, uh, those permanents can't attack or block, and their activated abilities can't be activated. Um, until your next turn. So you can actually use it to hit, like, Planeswalkers to shut them down for a turn. That's pretty convenient, but aside from that, no, it's, eh, it's not ideal. Uh, you can use it on a turn if you have a big enough board to just shut down five of their creatures and then keep attacking through. If it were an instant, this card might be playable, but as it is, uh, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll find some use for it in Brawl. Uh, and then on to Masteries. I still haven't decided yet what I want to do with all these. I think green is probably the next one to which I'll go, because it looks like I have, you know, I play this, I can play this, I play this, I play this, I play this. So, yeah, we'll go for green. And then... Oh, oh, do I have to go through it each time? And it can't even let me use the space bar. Ah! Hello? There we go. And then, ball again recovery, because I like that one more. And... Tangled Florahedron. Ta-da! And then Inscription of Why Does It Keep Giving Me This Card? I massively overrated this thing early on. It's not as good as I thought, but oh well. You, you may be noticing a bit of a theme. It's uncommon on the bottom for each. Or common, excuse me, wow. I, I knew what I meant to say. Uh, then uncommons, and then rare, and then mythic. Ta-da! Unfortunately, you can't get the mythic until you've completed the rest of the tree underneath it. Let's see, I guess I was going into white next. This is useful. Uh, Chandler's okay. Uh, I don't know, either, either white or red next. Yeah, let's go for white. So check this out, for instance. We'll uh, pick. Actually, we, I don't have enough to show this off yet. I was hoping I had enough that I could go uh, two, three, four, just to show you that it won't let me pick that one. Uh, but I think you get the idea. So let's see. Takedown or Cleric? We'll do Cleric first. 13 out of 30. Ta-da! And then Maul of the Skyclaves. It doesn't matter. I'll end up getting all of these eventually anyway. But I guess just to show that off in a future video, we'll pick this one. And then, if I had one, you'd see it wouldn't let me do Emiria's Call, which I have a copy of. I think, aside from the black one, I have a copy of each, uh, whatever that kind of land is called. Untapped land spell. Elegant as always. Agadim's Awakening. Alright, but I guess that's, that's it for now. I'll save the coins for a future video so I can open more packs then, but... Yeah, this is this is neat. Having that mastery pass helps out a lot, and I still haven't I still haven't given myself a pet yet, have I? Let's go into our profile. I guess this is the last thing I do before I'll before I'll end the video an hour and fifty minutes in. Yeah, we're only at plat four. I actually knocked myself down a pretty decent distance earlier. Uh, pet select. Yeah, these are all that I have. Which is to say those are my first pets. So, I guess the, the nature one, that's pretty neat. Emotes. Switch them out to... Uh, nice become... well... Oops becomes sad face. How do I... Hello? I 
How do I switch them, though? Oh, does it just give you more? I have no idea how this works. I kind of want to play one more game just to, just to test and see. So we will. We'll play one more game. We'll do Ramp in Ranked. And you're about to see why I got knocked my <laughs> I got knocked down a pretty decent distance. Oh, we'll give it one more go so I can see how this works. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll get some more in just a sec. Actually, after this, probably the next thing I do is I'll edit a video and then play some Dark Souls 3 so I can finish that. Alright, cool. Oh, that's how it works. Neat, I suppose. Ooh. Hey, let's give him the hello. Skirk Prospector. Yay for goblins. Alright, let's let's test it out. We ran this for a reason, didn't we? Right, explore, play Hallowed Fountain. Alright, now that doesn't let us play Absorb this turn, but next turn we'll be fine. Eh, we'll be fine. We'll go Island, next turn Arden Vale, and just hope we get there. Well, Island, and then we can hold up Cast Out or Absorb, whichever we need. Ooh! Oh, they got rid of the Prospector. That is a weird line. I wonder what that says about my opponent's hand. In that case, let's see. Do I want to play Uro next or hold up Absorb? Yeah, let's, let's wait. I think this is right for me to wait. I still need another green in order to cast Uro later anyway. Alright, let's find out. Krinko! That will do it! Yeah, no. Let's not. You have haste, buddy. Let's definitely not. Let's not say we didn't. I haven't seen Krinko in a hot minute. Uh-oh. Uh, do I want to use Cast Out here? Hmm. I can go Explore, draw a card, I get another cast out, hello, and we'll just use it here, actually, so that they don't get a chance to use it for, to, to get the cost reduction from Warchief. And hopefully we can just not let the opponent play. Hopefully. That's the, that's the game plan right now. Snoop. Okay, Castle Embereth on top. Alright. Ah, Snoop again. Yay. We have to be careful. Okay, so we'll put you into play tapped and you into play untapped. Right. It doesn't actually matter about using cast out on their up, uh, yeah, on their upkeep or on after their draw because they have two of them. Uh oh, that's not good. Well, I'm glad I had the cast out at least, but geez. We only have four cards in the yard, too. Not cycling is actually a bit of a problem. Oh, there's a prospector. Uh oh, okay. Now this poses a problem. Do I want to use. Uh, okay. They don't have Muxus. I know their hand now. We'll use Cast Out on the Chieftain. Can we get there? I have not given myself any cards left, though, so we've officially run out of velocity here. Prospector can't attack, and so I'm going to take four here, go to 16. Ooh. What silliness do you have? Oh, okay. That uh, puts it in my... No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's right. It doesn't put it in my yard. That's right. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Uh-oh. So we can make a 1-1 one -one to block. Uh, boy. That's fine, but that's not what we need. I guess I could use that... Yeah, yeah, let's hang on to that. This is weird, but I, I could use it to fill the yard. 
see if we can bait them into attacking with Prospector. If they can keep finding lands off the top, then we're okay, I suppose. Alright, so activate Mobilize District. Uh, ooh, okay. Alright. Now I don't know that I care too much about Prospector. Alright, obvious uh, creation here is obvious. Yeah, let's use it on the Prospector. That'll cut down damage in future turns. He says as he's about to draw an Absorb. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really fun. Okay. At least, thankfully, we have Absorb and Ardenvale mana. Both. Hey, buddy! Hey, Vsloss, Michael here. Oh no, they have Krenko on top! Crap. Okay, I need a Wrath now. Crap. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. I can't even wait on this. I have to do this now. Don't I? If I wait for one turn... And they cast Krenko. Let's see. So I'm about to take 10 here. I might even need to wait. Yeah, let's wait. I think waiting is correct. So that I can hit Krenko as well. Oh, well, actually we're going to take uh, 13 because of Mobilized District minus my blockers. Oh, this is fun. I should <laughs> give him the good game like it's, like it's done. Alright, Wily Goblin. Making more. Please don't have anything that gives haste. No, oh, please overextend. Oh, we're, just, we're super dead. I should have seen that coming. I should have cast the Wrath of God because of that. Jay, you genius. You idiot. That's okay. It's okay. Not, not brilliant, I am. That's fine. They're saying good game, but I think that they're okay still, right? I think that they're alright. I mean, I know the top card of their deck, so I go for, they play Krenko, they're fine at this point. It looks like they'll make it. I'm, unless I'm missing something, I'm pretty sure that they're okay. Yeah, so Krenko comes out, doesn't have haste, thank goodness. Not that it matters too, too, too much. Alright, so let's fetch first. Whoa, yeah, we have, we, have, we have more basics still. I'll just say, if I had screwed myself there, I uh, wouldn't be ideal. Alright, so let's attack first. Alright, gain three, draw a card. Hydroid Crisis, dear god. Okay. Yeah, we... I, I should be dead, but thankfully we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're okay. Uh, I do not know how, but we, we somehow managed to get somewhere this time. Oh, hello. Let's go. Wily Goblin. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so they can make plenty of blockers, right? I don't think that's the concern here. I'm pretty sure that that's not the concern. So let's scry first. Oh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good on Fable Passages. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're okay on Fabled Passages. Eh, it's okay. We'll attack first. Alright, game three. They actually can kill Uro here. Not that they should, of course. 
Well, I mean, no, actually they probably should. Wily Goblin and two tokens plus Mobilize District is six. That can kill Uro. Yep, there they go. They're going for it. I like it. It's feisty. Should be one more. It should be a basic forest. And lo, it was. So spring does not do anything except get in my yard at this point. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. All right, everybody block. Everybody dogpile Uro. Ah, <sighs> you know, theoretically, this matchup shouldn't be that bad for me. I have four rats, two settles, which should be three. Uh, counter magic. I should actually have an okay matchup against goblins. Uh, and I think that's generally how it works. This deck is certainly not unbeatable, but you often have to have some... Part of the reason I'm running Absorb is you need to have something for Muxus, or you just lose the game. Uh, and that's also why it's not, say, Negate. Oh, it, it automatically switched me to Nahiri. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna jump back to Karn. I, I like Karn. Karn's cool. Karn's pretty cool. I don't know, I just dig him. Where are you, buddy? There you are. 99% of that is because of the line, uh, what is it? Until you have lived as a statue, do not speak to me of pigeons. Come on, that's adorable. Oh, I need one more. I need one more. Unumas. Sure, sure. Let's, let's see if we can sneak one more in. Uh, let's get si no. Let's get silly, though. Um, yeah, I have Uro Dredge, but... Uh, I don't think that deck is ready yet. Mm. This one at least should do it quickly. Should. Hopefully. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Alright. Win or lose, at least this one won't take 15 minutes. Chihiro K. Oh, T1 stretching elf. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Alright. Let's see what you're on. Please don't kill my spirit dancer. Those don't... That doesn't look like a kill color. So let's play out the core spirit dancer now. And hopefully we'll get there. Ah! Gotcha. I hope. Alright, let's start with the Sentinel's Eyes, with the Sentinel's Eyes. Counter. I dare you. Okay. Hmm. I'll play, I'll play carefully here. All Seed. Quench. Okay. Good, 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 good. In that case, let's fire off Obsession. Boom. That was a. And they conceded. See? That was quick. That was awfully quick. Uh, playing the All Seed there was supposed to give me the ability to hold up mana to protect it from, like, a Brazen Borrower, for instance. Uh, which can be a bit of a problem. Alright, there's my daily always getting to four wins. Because after that, you really start dropping off on how many uh, coins you get. Ah, we'll open one more. We'll open one more. I guess in the spirit of the season, <laughs> whatever that means, we'll open one... Uh, I keep wanting to open Ikoria, partially because of the Triumphs, partially because I love this set, but you know what? Sure. Sure. Let's go for it. Open one more. I don't know how many more of these I'll open all together, but let's try it. Ooh! 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 Okay! Heck yeah! Hi, Brawl! Oh boy! I know who my next Brawl Commander is! Who's gonna be an obnoxious magic player for a little while? This guy! <laughs> okay. Sneak peek of the next video. This guy's getting a home. Alright. 
Ah, take care, magic community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> totally worth it. Oh, even the flavor text! The echo of silence's music to my ears. I think the most viewed video on my channel is the Ross Miriam one with the sound of silence. It's the most or second most. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Okay, that's good.